With this simple electrode example, we see how thickness step macro will perform. For this, I had pre created two toolpaths here. One is constant Z toolpath strategy for site finishing with zero as my stock, and a offset flat finishing toolpath strategy for my bottom finishing, also with zero stock. Now, consider this as a graphite electrode. I want to create a toolpath such that I have a 2mm stock over all the profile and end with my uh, final stock as 0.1. I want to create an incremental toolpath of 0.5 as my stock. So for that, I have to create uh, four toolpaths here using a thickness of uh, our thickness or stock 1.5, 1.5 and 0.1. And you have to club all the toolpaths as a single to run this process. To avoid that such process, I'm going to run a simple macro here to create those particular toolpaths automatically and it will merge the toolpaths as a single and give you a final solution. So I'm going to run this particular macro here, thickness step. So it will ask you what is the stock available. So 2mm is my stock available. My uh, final stock need to be 0.1. And what is the incremental uh, stock to be um, created? It's 0.5. So what it will do, it will create a tool path, start from 1.5 as thickness, and finally end with 0.1 as your final thickness. If you see, it created four toolpaths and it merged the toolpaths here and it give you a final uh, solution with uh, four passes as a single toolpath. Similarly, I'm going to show you with the floor finishing. Again, I'm going to run this macro. Consider uh, my stock is uh, three mm at the bottom. So I want to finish with the 0.1 as my stock with the incremental depth of cut as one. So again, if you see this, it start creating the toolpath here one by one and it will merge as a single toolpath with go check. So if you see from the side wise here, it started from uh, um, considering as a three mm stock so it move one by one as a stock with the considering one mm and finally with 0.1 as a final stock.